This is an example of a tune-up. Stay with me. I mindfully rock with care for three minutes across my body most days, like I've learned how to be present and notice what I'm feeling from the inside out. Science agrees that the mind-body connection is real. Getting curious using my rock with care is therapeutic. The tool helps me navigate my mind, my body, and soul efficiently, allowing me to get closer to myself, which is, well, a spiritual experience. I've been using gua sha techniques for almost 10 years at first, just figuring it out when I used it every now and then, but I would turn to it often. But now when I'm feeling off, I can quickly tune in to figure out what I need. I can figure out what I need to tune up within myself and how I could ground myself. Let me explain what I mean. And what I'm sharing is applicable to men or women of any age, just not those who are pregnant or on blood thinners. A few weeks ago, when I began my three minute gua sha journey, I noticed shortness of breath around my heart area. Normally a few strokes with my, with my rock with care over a few days and the breath starts to follow the tool again and it becomes deeper. However, despite my attempts, the heart just wasn't opening as it typically does with each gua sha stroke. So I decided to visit my acupuncturist she confirmed that my heart had been working harder than it needed to for various reasons, physical and emotional. So she loosened up my body, my entire body with cupping, and then she followed up with some serious acupuncture. The fact that she created some flow internally before the needles did their things, that's just so important to this whole matter. She wasn't ready to just shock my system, but the results were still incredible. Just one treatment improved the quality of my breath significantly, bringing it back to normal or arguably even better. I kept using Rock With Care daily in the shower, on my abdomen and heart area, knowing that something's going on in my mind or body that's impacting the quality of my breath. And I wanted to figure this out through my organs. However, also around the same time, I realized that there was tightness, that the tightness in my chest had structurally impacted my posture and my facial muscles and brought this hardness to my look. I felt tension in my neck and forehead particularly. So to address this, I visited someone who could massage the crap out of my face, literally, and loosen up my neck. It's sensitive, the neck area, because of just how much is going on in there, but the sculptress knew how to loosen up the tension in my neck just enough to let it soak up all of the changes that are happening mindfully, like through the brain. She performed lymphatic drainage. She incorporated some serious sculpting techniques, which also resulted in me looking pretty snatched. A few days later, I visited my somatic coach who uses body work for therapeutic purposes or to level up. She coincidentally chose to focus on cranial work for me, which further releases tension in the neck and the skull. This created way more space in my face and joints, allowing everything to move more freely within my body. Finally, I needed to energetically restore balance back. I mean, I had just opened up my heart. I had just deepened my breath and I needed to support this. Strangely, Gerald had a spot for me. He worked on my marma points to harmonize <clears throat> all the energies based on Ayurvedic pressure points. And they're called marma points and that actually predates traditional Chinese medicine. It was bliss because I had the opportunity to energetically blend breath with release. And that is a really great medicine. I hope this is a good example of how tuning in can help you figure out what steps you need to do. This total thing was maybe like a five hour commitment, but I probably don't need any sort of intense routine like this for my heart for quite a while. I'll probably follow up with another acupuncture session just to put this all together and continue to use my rock with care. But it's a really cool way to think about how to let you guide yourself intuitively. Essentially, you're getting closer to yourself. I hope this helped. Thanks and rock with care.